Just the other day, this past week, there was another attack on the Armenian village of Kesab on the Turkish-Syrian border. The attack was started by ISIS from Turkey, and when it was repulsed, they went back to Turkey without any problem crossing across the border. And this has been consistent for a long time. Things like the Energic Air Base was off bounds for the United States during the Iraqi war. They wouldn't allow them to even use the American Air Base built by Turkey on partially Armenian property. This is a curious situation, and one has to reevaluate the uh, importance of the alliance between Turkey and uh, the United States, and just what is the quid pro quo? When there is an alliance, there has to it has to go in both ways, not just in terms of money, which is only one way, but in terms of uh, all kinds of other things. So we have to be careful about who is running the situation. The State Department is not below influence from foreign governments. I don't mean just Turkey, lots of them. If we step away from the U.S. for a second, uh, Germany has also been stepping uh, quite carefully around this issue due to very uh, close relations uh, with, with Turkey. We know that they're going to meeting, be meeting in German, uh, Germany's parliament a bit later. Are you hopeful that they will have a, a recognition of uh, this term uh, genocide, a, a, an official one, if you will? Uh, uh, yeah, uh, I, I was very uh, surprised by the title, uh, the, the headlines when uh, on, your, on your screen, saying that the German president unofficially recognized the Armenian genocide. What does it mean? Uh, he said this, is the German president, I don't really, frankly, I don't understand what means he unofficially recognized the Armenian genocide. That's a nonsense for me. Uh, because it needs to be ratified by, by the government. Yeah, it needs that's to it. Have okay, standing okay, but he said this. Uh, today, very probably, very likely, uh, the, the, the Bundestag will uh, recognize clearly the Armenian genocide too. So, of course, we can ever demand more and more, but you know... But why has it taken so long? Sorry to cut you. Why has it taken so long? Why now in 2015 are we just getting to that point, that official doom, if you will? Of course, diplomats and uh, the state, the state leader, we are aware, but uh, the public opinion w w was not aware. Most of the German people, as, as, as the German French people, were not aware. So we have we had to raise awareness among the public opinion, so that in the end, some pressure, uh, uh, some pressure from from the people, uh, push. Uh, the leaders, the political leaders, to keep on, to, to, to start the recognition. And there is another factor specific to Germany. Germany was involved during the massacres, during the genocide itself. You know, uh, we have, uh, during the, the genocide, there were a German pastor, uh, Johannes Lepsius, who makes a report, and he was also a kind of, uh, of unofficial uh, spy, you know, for the, for the German authorities of, of what, uh, in Turkey. And uh, when he made his own report to the German authority, he suppressed some part, or he, at least it, he, it angles its report to, to extract the responsibility for the, for, of the German authorities. But um, f some of the German, uh, the, for instance, the chef d'état-major of uh, Enver Pasha, was Fritz Bronsa von Schellendorf. He was a German officer, and he encouraged to massacre the Armenians. So uh, there was this kind of, this aspect too. Could both of you, just uh, succinctly, if you will, put it, what, what the significance of this 100-year uh, commemoration of the Armenian genocide means for you? If I start with you, Doctor. The 100th anniversary represents an enormous progress toward the question of recognition. Let's not beat around the bush about how many recognize, but the fact that the Pope, the European Parliament, Germany, and Austria, allies of Turkey during the genocide and the First World War, all in a very short time, and at least in the case of the Pope and the President of Germany, with an enormous internal consciousness, moral authority, said we must recognize it. And the very fact that Germany, the president, should admit that Germany was implicated in the question is a great step forward. Yeah. Okay, and if I just come to you, 
uh, for me, clearly, uh, uh, it means that the killer failed. We are still alive. Armenians are still alive and recognized everywhere, you know? And uh, just a point about the Armenian people. The Armenian, pe Ar Armenian people uh, uh, was built, uh, start uh, in history 3,000 years ago. And uh, the genocide is a break, but we are, we are keeping on and still progressing. And uh, I don't know if our modern state will be there in a thousand years, but Armenian maybe will be there thanks to this, uh, this um, uh, mind, this uh, habit to remember the past. Hang on a moment. I'm being told that uh, French uh, President François Hollande has begun speaking. We can uh, take a listen to him. Let's go to him now.